for example, um, a honeybee hive can get, uh, a whole hive of thousands, tens of thousands of bees can get exterminated by just a few bees visiting compromised flowers. So if, if herbicides are sprayed directly on flower, on, on flowering, flower heads, blossoms, right? And a few bees go to those, they will carry that herbicide back to the hive. And when they get there, um, because the hive acts as one organism, that herbicide begins to spread because the bees are taking the nectar from each other and they're also trying to clean each other off. And so thousands and thousands of bees can die by just a few bees uh, landing on flowers that have been sprayed. And, um, and that's why I say, you know, in a way they're that canary in the coal mine, because when it comes to our wildlife, all of our native bees and the more solitary bees, uh, you, we won't, we don't really witness them dying from this stuff. You know, we, we, um, you're not going to, to really probably witness a, a bumblebee colony, for example, um, being exterminated or, or the solitary bees that die. So, um, I guess I'm going to end now and just leave it at that. And maybe we can open the conversation. Maybe this is a conversation starter. Uh, if you're living in the area, you know, I'm in Unicoi County, uh, Madison County, Buncombe County. I'll just say, you know, don't, don't get mad at those guys that are doing their job spraying spraying underneath the power lines what you have to do is you have to take action first of all become responsible for your own land it, it's um it was sad for me to see today on that map that the man showed me that everything around me was red meaning nobody else had put themselves onto the owner maintain list and um, i know it's not possible for all people but if you're able to take care of your um, underneath your power lines and get on those lists, you have to show them that you're maintaining it yourself. It means it has to stay weed whacked or you have to put a garden under there that looks maintained or, or whatever. Um, and so that's the first step. And then of course, hopefully in the long run, we can change how these things are done. Um, you know, I was just talking to some some young people very recently about how how much of the mass of insects we have lost and and uh, yeah if you know me you know I'm I'm very positive I, I I believe that we can we can do this I believe we can turn things around and I believe in the strength of the earth to regenerate herself um, but that doesn't mean that we can keep going with some of the things some of these practices have got to be transformed so um, I'm not trying to spark a discussion on the safety of these particular herbicides because the plants die the insects die and uh, that's what um, yeah that's what I'm that's what I'm grieving today. So, moving on. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, I'll attach a video of Newbie, you know, one of uh, the newer hives that we have here. All of the hives that came from swarms this year have established themselves so well. They're thriving. And I would appreciate your prayers that the bees will avoid those compromised flowers and that they will remain really strong and thriving. And I'll attach that video um, just so you can see and you can visualize with me.